bassist with the Channel Islands Chamber Orchestra, also known as Chico. And uh, I, I have my Corona haircut, and while my hair has been growing, I've been doing. Uh, I've set myself the goal of memorizing the six box cello suites while we're in social isolation. <coughs> And um, just because they're so deep and meditative and challenging to play. And when I was considering doing this, I decided that I would do this, the Sarah Bond movement from the sixth cello suite, which is in D major. And um, <clears throat> I did that because uh, Yo-Yo Ma played it at Obama's inauguration in 2008 and I felt it was that was a moment of hope and coming together and I thought it would be interesting to reprise that um, but of course I'm not Yo-Yo Ma and this isn't a $200,000 cello or however much it is but we're going to give it our best shot
I started playing the piano when I was around five, I guess. And so um, when I got to junior high school, I could read music and uh, I was fairly tall. And so the orchestra conductor in my junior high school asked if I would play the bass. And um, I, I'm not sure I even knew what a bass was at that time, but uh, I was introduced to it and eager to give it a shot and um, it suited me somehow I enjoy playing it and I always have um, I uh, had a wonderful public school education in Wisconsin and the music was high on the list of priorities for that district and so we were a really good orchestra and went to all sorts of I don't know what you call them now, but uh, contests, I guess, for orchestras. <laughs> and uh, we did pretty good. It was fun. And then I uh, went to University of Wisconsin and studied there, studied bass, and had some wonderful teachers there, including Gary Carr and Otto Werner Mueller, who was the conductor there at the time. Um, and then moved to the East Coast and played in a number of small orchestras there. Um, and also there was a small group in uh, Montreal that I played with for a while. It was the, they called it the Canada Symphony. I don't know if that's, I don't, I don't think it still exists actually. Um, but then I did all kinds of stuff and traveled all around, in fact, uh, with my bass. In fact, I, a funny thing about it is I, and I was forced to sleep in my bass case at one point in time, as when I was on the road. <laughs> and um, I don't think I'll have to do that again. I hope I don't. 